The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalo Valyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to Lesson 8 in your Distance Education Program in Chemistry for Lower Seat Science. I am Longni Gingu Innocent, your chemistry teacher. We are still on the topic, Matter, Properties and Transformation, and we are treating the subtopic, Mo Concept. This subtopic, Mo Concept, will be treated in the following lessons. Relative atomic mass, relative molecular mass and molar mass, the mole and Avogadro constant, empirical and molecular formulae part one, empirical and molecular formulae part two, mole quantity of gases, determination of molar mass of volatile liquid, mole quantities of solutions part one, mole quantities of solutions part two, mole concept and chemical equations, Acid-based titrations, part one. Acid-based titrations, part two. Oxidation numbers and naming of inorganic compounds. Balancing redox equations. Redox titrations. Precipitation and complexometric titrations. Yield of reactions and limiting reagent. Before beginning today's lesson, I would like us to correct the assignment we had at the end of our previous lesson. Correction of assignment. Calculate the concentration in grams per cubic decimeter and moles per cubic decimeter of the following solutions. A, 3.65 grams of anhydrous sodium carbonate in two gm cube of solution. Given that the relative atomic mass of sodium is 23, carbon 12, oxygen 16, nitrogen 14, and silver 108. A, Roman 1. The mass of anhydrous sodium carbonate is 3.65 grams, and the volume of the solution is two cubic decimeters. Remember that mass concentration is equal to given mass divided by volume in cubic decimeters. So if we substitute mass and volume with their values, we have mass concentration is equal to 3.65 grams divided by 2 cubic decimeters. So simplifying, we have the mass concentration of the solution of sodium carbonate is 1.82 grams per cubic decimeter. Roman 2, the mass of the salt is 3.65 grams. And the molar mass of the salt is given by 2 times 23, that is the relative atomic mass of sodium, plus 12, which is for carbon, and 3 times 16 for oxygen. So the, relative, uh, the molar mass of sodium carbonate is 106 grams per mole. Now, number of moles is given by the given mass divided by the molar mass. So if we substitute given mass and molar masses with their values, we have number of mole is equal to 3.65 grams, divided by 106 grams per mole. And simplifying, we have number of mole is equal to 0.034 moles. Molarity is the number of moles divided by the volume in cubic decimeters. The so substituting number of moles and volume with their values, we have molarity is equal to 0.034 moles divided by two cubic decimeters. And simplifying, we have a molarity of 0.017 moles per cubic decimeters. 
A molarity can also be given by mass concentration divided by molar mass. So if we substitute mass concentration and molar mass with their values, we have molarity is equal to 0 0.017 molar. So the molarity of the solution is 0 0.017 moles per cubic decimeters. Calculate the concentration moles per cubic decimeter and grams per cubic decimeter of the following solutions. B, 0 0.425 grams of silver nitrate in 250 cm cube of solution. Now the mass of the salt is 0 0.425 grams and the molar mass is 170 grams per mole. Now number of moles is given by molar mass, a given mass divided by molar mass. So if we substitute given mass and molar mass with their values, we have number of moles is equal to 0 0.425 divided by 170. And simplifying, we have number of moles is equal to 0 0.025 moles. Molar concentration is the number of moles divided by the volume in cubic decimeters. So if we substitute and simplify, we have molarity is equal to 0 0.01 molar. So the molarity of the solution is 0 0.01 moles per cubic decimeter. Roman 2, uh, mass concentration is the molarity times molar mass. So if we substitute molarity and molar mass, we have mass concentration is equal to 0 0.01 moles per cubic decimeter times 170 grams per mole. And simplifying, we have mass concentration is equal to 1.7 grams per cubic decimeter. Mass concentration can also be calculated using the formula mass concentration is equal to mass divided by volume in cubic decimeters. So substituting the mass and volume and simplifying, we have mass concentration is equal to 1.7 grams per cubic decimeter. Today's lesson is titled More Quantities of Solutions, Part 2. The outline of the lesson is as follows. Objectives, prerequisite, more quantities of solution, part two, evaluation, assignment, and references. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to prepare standard solutions, you should be able to dilute concentrated solutions, and you should be able to calculate the concentration of commercial mineral acid. Prerequisite. In order to effectively understand this lesson, you must be able to prepare standard solutions. You must be able to calculate the molarity and mass concentrations of solutions. Standard solutions. A standard solution is a solution whose concentration is known precisely. Standard solutions are prepared using primary standard. And a standard solution prepared using a primary standard is called a primary standard solution. I repeat, standard solutions are solutions whose concentrations are known precisely. And a standard solution is prepared using a primary standard. A standard solution prepared using a primary standard is called a primary standard solution. Primary standard. A primary standard is a substance with a high degree of purity used in the preparation of a standard solution. A primary standard has certain properties that makes it to be good to prepare standard solutions. Properties of primary standard. Primary standards should have the following properties. It must be pure. It should dissolve in water readily. It should not decompose easily as a solid or in solution. It should have a high molar mass and it should not be deliquescent, hygroscopic or efflorescent. Examples of primary standards are potassium iodate, sodium carbonate, sodium oxalate, potassium dichromate and many others. Secondary standard solutions. A secondary standard solution is a standard solution with a low purity whose exact concentration is determined by using a primary standard solution. I repeat, a secondary standard solution is a standard solution with a low purity whose exact concentration 
is determined by using a primary standard solution. Secondary standard solutions are made specifically for certain analysis. Examples of secondary standards are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, sodium hydroxide, ion trichloride, and many others. It's important to note that primary standard solutions are used to standardize secondary standards and other reagents. Preparation of standard solutions. Standard solutions can be prepared using the following steps. Firstly, calculate the required mass of the solute and accurately weigh it. Secondly, dissolve the weight mass in some distilled water in a beaker, stir until it dissolves, and then transfer into a volumetric flask. Thirdly, make up the solution to the mark with distilled water using a watch bottle, stopper, and shake the solution vigorously to produce a homogeneous solution. Now, the steps involved in the preparation of standard solution can be summarized using the picture on your screen. Firstly, you weigh the mass of the salt using an electronic balance. Secondly, we dissolve the salt with distilled water and stir continuously until it dissolves completely. We transfer the solution into a volumetric flask. We make it to the mark with distilled water. We stop her and we shake thoroughly to homogenize the solution. Calculating mass of reagents required for standard solutions. The reagents are primary standard. Now, the masses of primary standard used in preparing standard solutions can be calculated in two ways. From molarity or from mass concentration. From molarity can be calculated as follows. Molarity is the number of moles divided by volume in cubic decimeters. A number of moles is given by the given mass divided by molar mass. So if given mass divided by molar mass is substituted in the equation for molarity, we have molarity is equal to given mass divided by molar volume times volume divided by molar mass times volume in cubic decimeter. That is, molarity will be given mass divided by molar mass times volume in cubic decimeters. So making mass the subject of the equation, we have mass is equal to molarity times molar mass times volume in cubic decimeters. The mass can also be calculated from mass concentration as follows. Mass concentration is equal to given mass divided by volume in cubic decimeters. So if we make mass the subject of the equation, we have mass is equal to mass concentration times volume in cubic decimeters. Example 1. How will you prepare a 0.02 moles per cubic decimeter solution of sodium carbonate in 500 cm cube volumetric flask? How will you prepare a 0.02 moles per cubic decimeter solution of sodium carbonate in a 500 cm cube volumetric flask? Solution. We start by calculating the mass of the salt. Now, the molarity of the solution is 0.02 moles per cubic decimeter, and the volume is 500 cubic centimeters. Now, the molar mass of sodium carbonate is 106 grams per mole. The mass is equal to molarity times molar mass times volume. So if we substitute uh, that to convert from cubic decimeter from cent cubic centimeters to cubic decimeters, we divide the volume in cubic centimeters by 1,000. And the equation becomes mass is equal to molarity times molar mass times volume in cubic centimeters divided by 1,000. So if we substitute molarity, molar mass, and volume in cubic centimeters with their values, we have mass is equal to 0.02 times 106 times 500 divided by 1,000. And the mass is 1.06 uh, grams. Now, the mass can also be gotten using simple proportions as follows. Now, if 1,000 cubic centimeters of solution contains 0 0.021 mole, therefore, 500 cubic centimeters will contain 
500 times 0 0.02 divided by 1,000. That is 0 0.01 mole. Now, the mass is also given by the molar mass times number of moles. So if we substitute molar mass and number of moles with their values, we have mass is equal to 106 grams per mole times 0 0.01 mole. And simplifying, we have 1.06 grams. So we weigh out exactly 1.06 grams of sodium carbonate, dissolve the 1.06 grams of sodium carbonate in some distilled water in a beaker, stir until it dissolves, and then transfer into a 500 cubic centimeter volumetric flask. Make up the solution to the mark with distilled water using a watch bottle, stopper, and shake the solution vigorously to produce a homogeneous solution. Preparation of a standard solution by dilution. Dilution is a procedure of producing a less concentrated solution from a more concentrated solution. Dilution is realized by adding more water to the concentrated solution. The more concentrated solution is called the stock solution. The steps involved in dilution. When diluting a solution, the following steps may come in handy. One, fill a clean dry burette with a more concentrated solution. Two, run the calculated volume of the more concentrated standard solution into a volumetric flask containing some water. Three, make the solution up to the mark with distilled water. It is important to note that very concentrated acids and alkalis should not be used in burette. Acids or bases should be added gently to some water and further dilution and further diluted by adding more water. Water should not be added directly to concentrated acid or bases. This is because the reaction is too exothermic and may lead to sprays. I repeat, during dilution, Water should not be added directly to a concentrated acid or a base. This is because the reaction is too exothermic and may lead to sprays. Calculating volume of concentrated solutions to be used in dilution. During dilution, volume changes, but number of moles remain the same. As a result, the initial number of moles must be equal to the final number of moles. Now, number of moles can be calculated using the formula number of moles is equal to molarity times volume. The initial number of moles N subscript I is equal to the initial molarity, that is the molarity of the concentrated solution, times the, the initial volume, that is V subscript I. And the final number of moles is equal to M subscript F and VF, that is the final molarity of the diluted solution uh, times the final volume that is the volume of the diluted solution. Now, since initial number of moles must be equal to the final number of moles, the initial number of moles, uh, that is initial molarity, that is molarity of the concentrated solution times its volume will be equal to the molarity of the diluted solution times its volume. That is Mi Vi is equal to Mf Vm. Example two. How much water is needed to dilute 150 cubic centimeter solution of 0.5 molar copper 2 chloride to a solution which is 0.35 molar? Solution. Now, the initial molarity that is of the concentrated solution, M subscript I, is 0.5 moles per cubic decimeter. V subscript I, 150 cubic centimeters. The final molarity that is M subscript F is equal to 0.3 moles per cubic decimeter. Now we know that Mi Vi is equal to Mf Vf. So making Vf the subject of the equation we have, Vf is equal to Mi Vi over Mf. So substituting the molarities and volumes with their values we have, Vf is equal to 0.5 moles per cubic decimeter times 150 cubic centimeter divided by 0.3 moles per cubic decimeters. So simplifying, we have Vf is equal to 250 cubic centimeters. Now, the volume of water added can be gotten by subtracting the initial volume from the final volume. So if we substitute with the values we have, 
volume of water is equal to 250 cubic centimeters minus 150 cubic centimeters. And this gives us 100 cubic centimeters of water. Therefore, 100 cubic centimeters of water should be added to prepare the dilute solution. Calculating the concentration of mineral acid. The concentration of mineral acid can be calculated using the formula molarity is equal to D times 1000 times capital A over molar mass, where D is a density of specific gravity, A is the assay of the acid, that is the percentage by mass or the purity, and M subscript R is the molar mass. Example 3. Describe how you will prepare a 1 cubic decimeter of a 0.02 molar sulfuric acid solution, starting with a concentrated solution of assay at a 6% and specific gravity of 1.84 grams per cubic centimeters. Now we start by calculating the molarity of the stock solution. The uh, density is 1.84 grams per cubic centimeters. The assay is 96%. Now, the molar mass of sulfuric acid is equal to 98 grams per mole. Now, we know that molarity is equal to the specific gravity times 1,000 times the assay divided by molar mass. So, if we substitute the density of the specific gravity, assay, and molar mass with their values, we have 1.84 grams per cubic uh, centimeters times 1,000 times 96 divided by 100 all divided by 96 grams per mole. And so simplifying, we have molarity is equal to 18.02 moles per cubic decimeter. So the molarity of the stock solution is 18.02 molar, or that is moles per cubic decimeters. We need to dilute the solution to obtain a 0.02 molar solution in one cubic decimeter. So Mi is 18.02 moles per cubic decimeter, and the volume, VI, is what is to be calculated. MF is 0.02 moles per cubic decimeter, and VF is 1,000 cubic centimeters. That is one cubic decimeters. Now we know that MI, VI, is equal to MF, VF. So making VI the subject of the equation, we have VI is equal to MF, VF, divided by MI. So substituting the molarities and volumes with their values, we have VI is equal to 0 0.02 times 1000 divided by 18.02. And simplifying, we have VI is 1.11 cubic centimeters. Therefore, we will have fill a 1 cubic decimeter volumetric flask with distilled water. We pipette 1.11 cubic centimeter of the stock solution and transfer into the volumetric flask. Stopper the flask and shake well to mix the acid and water. Make the solution to the mark by adding more distilled water, stopper and shake to homogenize. Recall, it is important to remember that a standard solution is a solution whose concentration is known precisely. A primary standard solution is a standard solution with a high purity and less reactivity used to standardize a secondary standard. A primary standard is a substance with a high degree of purity used in the preparation of standard solutions. A secondary standard solution is a standard solution with a low purity and high reactivity. Evaluation. To know how well you have understood this lesson, answer this question. Describe how you would prepare one cubic decimeter of a 0 0.5, 0 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid, starting with a concentrated solution of assay, 36%, and specific gravity, 1.16 gram per cubic centimeter. I repeat, describe how you would prepare a one cubic decimeter of a 0 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid, starting with a concentrated solution of assay, 36%, and specific gravity 1.16 gram per cubic centimeter. Solution. We start by calculating the molarity of the stock solution. Now the specific gravity of the stock solution is 1.16 gram per cubic centimeter. 
and the assay is 36%. The molar mass of hydrochloric acid is gotten by 1 plus 35.5. 1 is a relative atomic mass of hydrogen, and 35.5 is a relative atomic mass of chlorine. So it gives us a molar mass of hydrochloric acid of 36.5 grams per mole. Now, molarity of the stock solution is given by a specific gravity times 1,000 times the AC divided by molar mass. So substituting the molarity, the AC and molar mass with their values, we have molarity is equal to 1.16 times 1,000 times 36 divided by 100 all over 36.5. So simplifying, we have molarity is equal to 11.44 moles per cubic decimeter. So the molarity of the stock solution is 11.44 moles per cubic decimeter. Now we need to dilute the solution to obtain a 0.5 molar solution in one cubic decimeter. Now, Mi is equal to 11.44 moles per cubic decimeter. Vi is what is to be calculated. MF is 0.5 moles per cubic decimeter. VF is 1,000 cubic centimeter or 1 cubic decimeter. MI, VI is equal to MF, VF. So making VI the subject of the equation, we have MF times VF all divided by MI is equal to VI. So substituting the molarities and volumes with their values, we have VI is equal to 0 0.5 times 1,000, all divided by 11.44. And this gives us a volume of 43.7 cubic centimeters. Therefore, we have filled a 1,000 cubic centimeter volumetric flask with distilled water, pipette 43.7 cubic centimeter of the stock solution, and transfer into the volumetric flask. Stopper the flask and shake well to mix the acid and water. Make the solution to the mark by adding more distilled water, stopper and shake to homogenize. Assignment. Before our next lesson, I would like you to answer this question. How will you prepare 450 cubic centimeter of a 0.3 molar solution of sulfuric acid, starting with a solution of 0.3 molar up? Starting with the solution of 3 molar sulfuric acid. I repeat, how will you prepare 450 cubic centimeter of a 0.3 molar solution of sulfuric acid, starting with a solution of 3 molar sulfuric acid? References Chemistry for the IB Diploma by Steve Owen, Advanced Chemistry by Michael Cloxton and Rosalind Fleming, Chemistry in Context by Graham Hill and John Holman. Complete Advanced Level Chemistry by Gule Emmanuel Eno and the Internet. We have come to the end of this lesson. Our next lesson will be on more concepts and chemical equations. See you in the next lesson. <laughs> Una tege majang matege ndom mane tambia ninya ne njobya yen ngani bana matege mot ngani la kiri watege ndong esotina bia dinki do mane tambia ninya ne njobya yen tam tama mote tam zabike tam tama tonge tam zabike tam tam tama mote tam zabike mane tambia ninya ne njobya yen